four, four, things like that. And he's pinging me on IM. Yes, please, I see the sales number. Can you make changes? So what's going to happen is very quickly, he is going to go ahead and make changes to some of those numbers. And you will see the chart updating as well. Let's see what he's saying. I'm making it now. So he's looking at the numbers. He agrees and disagrees with thoughts of it. So he's making those numbers. Keep looking at this X60 helper numbers. What will happen very quickly is he will go ahead and make these so changes. Just change he just changed it from 1 to 500. And he's going to change on all of these sheets. As he makes those sheet changes, I am at below. I am looking at, look at this chart. This chart just changed itself dynamically. Live across the internet without any server. There is no exchange server at the back, anything at the back. This is Messenger and Excel web app. People are able to work together on same documents at the same time. This is classic software plus services. Software allows you to do a lot of power work at the back. Services and cloud-based offerings allow you to collaborate and work on pieces of documents together. Now, this is only beta. In a while, when we even launched the first product, his presence information would be built in. He could technically check out a part of a paragraph and work on it, and I would be able to chat with him at the same time. And he just replied and said something to me. So, so think about, you know, if you look at it extended to the other products, you think about you're working on an RFP together, people are working on different sections together. You know, today what you do is either a lot of people are, okay, let me pass you the section, let me pass you the document, or even if you're collaborating in the cloud, right, you're doing one person. This is co-authoring, you know. Uh, simultaneous co-authoring, being able to work together and collaborate on, on, on just, just documents. And think of it as sales proposal, all right? Different people fill it different. Some guy fills in the quotes, some guy fills in the specs. Every one of us can work in the same time. Within enterprises, com companies are not comfortable putting everything up in the cloud. They could run it on SharePoint today. And SharePoint provides the same look and feel. And so within your firewall, you could create these documents and work on these documents. Now, one more thing, important thing to point out. I do not need Office on my machine to fire up my browser and look and feel of all of this. This is important. I could be in Bali in a cyber cafe enjoying my holidays, fire up the browser. It's not the most ideal thing, but if I have to, I could fire up the browser without having Office on that machine. I could do these things. It is free. It is available to all consumer, it will be available to all consumer, all uh, Windows Live users once we launch it next year. So, so, so really what we're doing is... Available on Windows Live? Yes. So what we're doing is, we talked about the, the email, right? We are extending that experience to the cloud. Yeah. And again, it's back to that theme I want to bring back. It's providing the best productivity experience for the PC, phone, browser. We had it in email, and we're seeing it in Excel today. When we launch, you will see it in Word, you'll see it in PowerPoint, you'll see it in OneNote. Uh, this is what we call as the web apps, and it just—it's another big milestone in our software plus service story. Again, it's about giving you the choice to work on the devices that that you're most comfortable with, and where, depending on the scenario, where you are. Right? So you're on a plane, you're working on your desktop. Okay? You're at—you uh, know—you're somewhere where you know you. you you have access to the web. You don't have your laptop with you. You're working, you know, um, uh, in the cloud. And we saw the fidelity. It's it's the same experience. Yeah. One question. What was the permission mechanism for that file to be accessed by? So on SkyDrive, I could set permissions. I could make it public. Like that particular file is actually a public file. If you go to my SkyDrive today, you could open it up as well, because I've given. I could give read permissions, write permissions. I could give, uh, you know, permissions to groups. I could give public access to files could for you, budgeting. Could you like create a link and share that with people so yeah. that you know whatever that, click That's how you do it, right? That's whatever. how you do it. You actually invite somebody so with a link. So let me yeah. go ahead and show it to you Rather right than invite specific emails. Okay. So I could just go in. Like if I go to my SkyDrive, so let me go to my new folder. So if I open this up, you will see that there is an embed tag here and there is a link to these documents which are here. Mm -hmm. I could share these documents just like I could share an embed. There are various possibilities. Think of a consumer scenario. You are researching for a new phone to buy, or a new camera to buy, right? You want your friends to give you inputs. You create a simple chart. 
which has all the models, all the prices listed up there. And you open that link and you embed it in your blog, for example. All your friends can come in and write comments against each of those models. Oh, this works. Oh, this one sucks. You know? Okay. So the can you set specific permissions like you know, this person's community? Yeah. yeah. So actually, I could go in, like, for example, for this document, I had actually set very specific permissions that only Keith has the rights. See, shared with everyone. So I could just go ahead and where is the permissions? There's a permissions column somewhere here. Anyways, I, I, you can set it up. You can Short have, answer yeah. is you can set it up on to individuals, to groups, <laughs> to the way you want it. So yeah, it's just like your current Windows Live uh, ID, the Come current on. experience, right? Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. you set permissions on yeah. who can see what. Just like your pictures of, of folders today, you could set permission who can see what, uh, who can do what to your documents or to your the idea is if you want to, sh if you can share pictures and have a discussion around it, why can't you share documents? Why can't you share presentations? Yeah. So, so those are the kind of experience. Again, we are really, really so limited. Right? So yeah, any limit in the number of concurrent users? Uh, I don't think yeah, so, yeah, but yeah, I, no, let yeah. me get the exact, I don't think there's a limit on the concurrent users. But let me check that out for you and I can get back to you. Yeah? yeah. Uh, we have tried it, I've tried it on 10, 15, it works. So. Unless you're doing for a Guinness Book of World <laughs> Records, 1,500 people working on the same document at the same time. <laughs> there are some experimentation going on. Yeah, so simultaneously changing it will lock. So if I'm editing a particular cell, for example, it will lock that cell. It won't, so you can't overwrite. And you can overwrite, but you can't do it simultaneously. And again, think of it, I mean, from a consumer's point of view, think of it from a scenario which is, you know, Free and easy, lightweight editing. You just want to share and get some inputs. On Can you undo the changes by the other person? Yes. So it depends on the permissions. We could do that. Is there a timeline where you can check whoever check uh, whatever they do uh, to the, not, to the document? So now you're talking about the SharePoint kind of experience, the version control one. Yeah. You could do it in SharePoint hmm. in the in the enterprise environment. How about this? But this is a consumer environment. Okay, we are so not supporting it at this point. Okay. So basically, yeah. if you want it, pay for it. So anyone can just change anything. No, it's actually more to do with the requirements. Who has those kind of requirements? Like it's auditing more about and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Compliance. Compliance. Yeah. Auditing, they things. want that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You so have, there you have even document expiration. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Setting that. So those are more of an enterprise uh, use as yeah. opposed to a consumer use. Okay. Yeah. All right. So okay, I need to move faster. He's been pushing me for a while. So I want We're to cognizant of the time yeah. so for you guys. And you know, we want to share with you some of the enterprise collaboration capabilities in SharePoint also. So yeah. basically that. saying don't hog and it's time. So <laughs> I'll move fast and I I'll, I'll, I'll do a few things. I just want to make sure you guys have, have you seen OneNote before? Okay. A bit. A bit, a bit right? Yeah, yeah, so let me let me spend some time. OneNote is do you know that OneNote on Amazon has got fifty three product reviews by fifty three users. Forty eight of them have given it a five star rating. It's one of those rare gems which you don't talk about enough. We'll start talking more about. Okay, OneNote is a very simply note-taking tool. All right, it allows me to do unstructured data. So I want to say, I am, and why I am not coming here. Okay, so I say I am a meeting, and anywhere you could take notes. You can cut and paste information like this is from a particular file. This is from a particular website. You can paste. You can have multiple note pages. So roadmap, timeline, key contacts, so you can, as you can see, all different media. So somebody has pasted their calling cards in there. In one notebook, you have all sorts of unstructured information that's coming in, and it's being kept at one place. You don't need to save it. It saves automatically. So when you're done, just close and move on. Uh, you can share it over SharePoint. When we launch web services, uh, web apps, you would be able to share it over SkyDrive so people can comment different things. You could search across the whole thing. You can do things like video record, and you can put audio comments inside, and a whole bunch of other features. 